Hello everyone, Billy from Puck Rivals here yet again to bring you another edition of the Top 5 Prospects series. Today we'll be covering another solid pool belonging to the New Jersey Devils. New Jersey is a team that has struggled the last few years, missing the playoffs 7 of the last 8 years. However, it's allowed them to make some top picks in the drafts, and now they're really starting to build a very solid prospect pool. A prospect is eligible for these rankings if they are under the age of 24 and have not played more than 25 games in a single NHL season. Leave a comment on your top 5 Devils prospects, and with that, let's get started. As always, we'll kick things off looking at the Devils graduates. They actually lose a few pretty solid players here, and they include first overall pick Jack Hughes, Jesper Boakvist, and goalie Mackenzie Blackwood. All three of these guys played over 25 games last season, making them ineligible for this list. Now let's go look at the top five. Beginning with number five, we have Nolan Foote, who the Devils acquired via trade from Tampa Bay for Blake Coleman. Foote is a pretty big and solid winger with a hard shot and some solid puck skills. The biggest thing for him to work on would be his skating ability. A power forward, Foote does his best work below the hash marks and can use his puck skills well and tight. He can potentially see himself in the Devils lineup sooner rather than later, since the team doesn't have too many scoring wingers to go around. However, he missed a big chunk of last season due to injury, so perhaps the Devils might wait longer on him to get back into his groove. Overall, Foote is a solid power forward prospect who could become a middle six winger for New Jersey with some potential to feature on the man advantage. Moving on to number four, we have defenseman Shakir Muhammadulin, one of the Devils' three first round draft picks from 2020. He is a tall and mobile defenseman with a good reach which helps him close gaps and pinch at both blue lines. Despite being a big boy, Muhammadulin could stand to be a better physical player. This season, he is already proving he can hold his own against men, having 9 points in 31 games in the KHL. It is very hard to get meaningful ice time in that league as a teenager, so he has done very very well so far when you take that into consideration. I feel like not too too much was known about him at the time of the draft, but he is beginning to show that the Devils made a good pick with their third first rounder. Muhammadulin has all the tools to become a top 4 defender in the NHL. Next up at number 3, we have yet another 2020 first rounder in Dawson Mercer. Mercer is a winger who has also a bit of experience playing down the middle. He plays a well-rounded two-way game, and part of that has to do with his great sense for the game. Mercer also has a good shot, hands, and passing that has allowed him to score at good rates in the QMJHL and provide some offense. To me, Mercer is one of those players that has a relatively high floor, maybe something like a middle six player, but the ceiling of about a consistent second liner. Playing next to Heischer or Hughes for many years though could certainly help boost his offensive output at the NHL level. The Devils have a great all-around prospect in Mercer with some offensive upside next to one of their young centers. Coming in at number 2, we have a 2018 first rounder this time, in defenseman Ty Smith. Smith has been dominating the WHL the last three seasons, putting up over a point per game in every single year. He is an intelligent defenseman who skates extremely well and is able to play as a playmaker from the back end. With that playmaking Smith possesses comes the ability to quarterback a power play as well. New Jersey really needs puck moving defensemen who can facilitate transitions. They have just the man for that in Ty Smith. He is good enough to make their roster now, but the Devils may opt for him to get a bit of professional hockey under his belt beforehand. Smith has all the tools to make it at the NHL level, and he could become a number 3 defenseman who can provide offense for the Devils. And last, but certainly not least, the Devils top prospect is their highest pick from 2020, Alexander Holtz. If there is one thing that you should know about Holtz, it's that he is a goal scorer. He is extremely talented and is able to score goals in a variety of different ways, using different shots and scoring both off the rush and on the cycle. He's got the best shot from his draft class and has an underrated playmaking ability as well. He is currently playing very well in the SHL, scoring at just under a point per game pace. If he can keep that up, I can totally see him in the Devils lineup after this season. There's a lot to like about Holtz, and he has the goal scoring ability to become a perennial and top line goal scorer in the NHL. 
especially when you consider he will be playing with Nico Heischer or Jack Hughes. The Devils are another team now that we've covered that have a very solid young core and prospect pool, so of course there's going to be some solid prospects that fall out of the top 5. For us, the honorable mentions for the Devils include Michael McLeod, Kevin Ball, and Riley Walsh. Keep an eye on these players as well. Overall, the Devils have a great prospect pool. The team doesn't really have many scorers, but they've got some great winger prospects that will be able to mesh nicely with their two first overall picks, Hughes and Heischer. In addition, they've got a number of great defense prospects as well that should help strengthen their relatively weak decor. This team has set up for the future, and they have some really nice key pieces at every position now. Their offense looks to have some serious firepower in the future, and Blackwood looks like he is going to be a starting caliber NHL goaltender. This is a team to watch grow and come together the next few years. Let us know in the comments what you think of these rankings, and which team you'd like to see us cover next. You can see the rest of the videos in this series, in the playlist, in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and love hockey like us, then don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. This has been Billy from Puck Rivals, and I'll see you in the next video.